So uh, in this video, uh, we will take a quick look at data transformation and visualization. And the purpose of data transformation and vis visualization is really to put your data in a form that you can uh, glean some perhaps business intelligence, or if you're coming from outside commercial type setup uh, from scientific uh, perspective, maybe you're trying to determine if there's patterns that appear in the data. Uh, sometimes that's impossible to see when you look into a very big CSV file uh, in Excel or in another format. Uh, those patterns are not really uh, immediately visible. Um, two textbooks that help a lot here, um, and I'll uh, use a lot on the uh, on the portal here, the Vinegar Hill Data Labs portal, or for data science, which is mainly based on Tidyverse, and we'll be looking at that more later. Um, but of course, uh, if you're doing exploratory data analysis or data transformation, which I will have in, um, I will set up in a Google Colab for uh, where we uh, integrate in R. Um, you can, it's easy to see here how powerful these libraries are. Uh, the the R Tidyverse Deplier, ggplot2, and so on. The other uh, textbook, again free, it's available, uh, is the Python Data Science Handbook. And again, it's a really comprehensive uh, text. Um, we can, it includes both data transformation, visualization, exploratory data analysis, um, and it introduces um, readers to uh, the NumPy libraries, pandas, um, strategies for visualization, um, data manipulation, um, and uh, it's very, very powerful. Because it's set up in a Google Colab, uh, well, that implies we can uh, use, uh, read it as a textbook, but also then implement live uh, actual code. There's also a section here on machine learning, and that's also something that's worth uh, addressing. So let's just take a, a sample down here from the textbook book, the first section relating to visualization. And it's very clean. I mean, uh, do read the text, but also you can run uh, live the code. And we've uh, NumPy and we have Seaborn and Mat Matplotlib libraries. And we can throw out uh, a blank uh, chart and then we can run for instance, plot a chart where on the x-axis we have values going from zero to 10 in steps of 1000. And then under the horizontal vertical axis, we have the sign of that same x. So again, we have the output here already, so we can just run, take a look at that. And um, we uh, can set it up. Uh, in, in a separate section. So we can set it up in the cell here. And for instance, if you made changes here, you would note that the changes also are occurring over here. So that's one way to approach that. But what if you want to just experiment a little bit? Uh, perhaps we might call this playground uh, approach. Um, but if we just wanted, so, you know, so very, very simply for sake of argument, if we wanted to look at uh, the effect of changing the sign to cosine in terms of the graph, then execute, and we can see we get a, a different shape and the range of values are obviously related, but we have a different shifting pattern in current. So this, um, uh, again, if we go back to the table of contents, um, we can uh, go plot through the different um, sections um, and we can run visualization um, Python for data science and um, we can implement um, each of the 
uh, varying libraries here that, that are available. So it's a very, very powerful uh, approach. Um, everything from linear regression, which is uh, important for econometricians and uh, data scientists in general. Um, and then uh, the machine learning libraries are here as well. Okay, so um, that's something worth exploring. I'll leave a video, just a video clip underneath explaining a little bit the approach.